Hey, what's up? Let's get your Notion workspace set up and super organized. We'll cover setting up Notion for your company, organizing teams with limited access, and creating a tailored personal experience. Plus, I'll show you how to link all of your resources to everything without the chaos or duplication. Let's check out the setup and you can grab it as a ready-made template. Obviously first, the wiki. This is your central knowledge hub where everything lives. SOPs, company updates, and all the resources that your team needs. Within this wiki, you'll have pages for teams, the people in them, and what they're working on. Each team gets a dedicated page. Here you can add helpful links, goals, and even highlight ongoing projects. On the company page, you can feature key updates or anything you want to spotlight. And all of your resources are neatly organized in one place, sorted by type and area. I've got a free template for this wiki on Notion. It's pretty much exactly what you see here, minus the people directory and projects. Now, with just these few databases, we've already set up a easy to navigate wiki, which is a great starting point. But let's go further and get into how we can actually set up Notion for Teams. This is where you'll build out pages for everyone, dedicated team spaces and shared areas, all nicely organized. Let's start with the dev page. As you add informational content, the template auto populates to save you time. Now let's create a team only page. While you can generate this from a database, we'll need to manually tweak some filters since we'll be moving this page around. It takes like a few minutes per, per team, but it speeds up the entire process. Add your team to all of the views and the buttons. This is like your go-to page where everything connects. And everything is on callouts, so you can easily rearrange it once you're done. Our page is already showing info linked to our team. Pretty cool, right? We'll also set up areas, the categories that organize information and where teams that work together can keep track of joint docs. For example, marketing could share an area with sales or project managers could team up with creatives. For marketing, let's add website and CRM areas. You can link docs across multiple areas. So if you have a product pricing doc, we can give our PMs access and link it to a shared area for both sales and marketing, and even link it to specific projects. Cool, 
we've got a linked resource and you can see who shares these areas. Check out the project managers page now. All relevant areas and docs are neatly arranged and all the information they might need is just a click away on the resource directory. And because it's linked, if the sales team updates it, we'll have the latest version here. Pretty slick, right? Now onto the people directory. This is the heart of connecting your people with their teams. You can add key info and prompts to fill out. It makes managing your team information and roles super easy. And here's something I really love, personal dashboards. These give each team member full control over their workspace and you can generate a personal dashboard with just one click and people can do this for themselves. It's all customizable, set it up the way that you like it. And here's the cool part. It will give us the task projects and resources that you are responsible for all in one place. And you can research your dashboard at any time. And there's personal tools that give each team member dedicated tools outside of our main system. These aren't linked to team databases, but act as like a personal workspace. So your team can create their own personal dashboard where they can track projects, tasks, resources, even like habits and goals. Your dashboard is stored on a company database. So if you want more privacy, you can move these personal databases and tools into a private page, giving you full control over what's shared. and really organize things in a way that it makes sense for you. You could have like a nice onboarding project assigned or throw like a playlist of the week on everyone's dashboard. There's so many tools in Notion to make like a cooler company experience. Amazing, we've helped our users navigate Notion. Let's wrap things up with the workspace setup. Head into Notion settings to create team spaces. This is like your shortcut for managing user access quickly. And here's a great tip. Set up user groups in your Notion settings. This is a game changer for saving time with page access rights. Once that's done, assign your marketing user group that you would have created, move your dedicated page into the team space and you're all set. It's a quick and easy way to ensure that everyone's working within their designated place. Okay, we've done it. We've just set up the company structure, self-organizing team spaces, personal dashboards for each user, some personal Notion tools, and a well-organized system with all of your resources linked. Now, let's take a quick look at the backend databases that are driving everything. We've got team overviews, areas, OKRs, projects, tasks, time record, resources, team directory, dashboards to generate team spaces, and personal dashboards. Each of these databases has flexible properties, so you can filter and organize info in any way that you need. This means that you can store all of your team data in one place and still keep things organized and easy to find. All that's left to do is to delete the demo entries in the template and you're ready to go. 
You can grab all of this as a ready-made template to start your setup today. I hope you like it. Okay, thanks, bye!